hospitals are often thought of as very clean and sterile places. And we as nurses do lots of things to keep them this way. Like changing hospital bed linen, changing IV tubing, and using alcohol swabs and wipes to keep surfaces clean. However, there is one item in the hospital room that we often don't think of in terms of sanitation. Privacy curtains. I was curious about how clean privacy curtains really are and if they could contribute to the spread of infection. So I performed a literature review on the subject using databases such as CINAHL, EBSCO, and PubMed, and I found some really interesting studies. In several studies, they found various microbes on privacy curtains through cultures including methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, Vancomycin resistant enterococci, group A streptococcus, carbapenem resistant Ancinobacter, and others. Researchers in the studies also focused on hand imprint cultures, giving substance to the idea that these microbes could be easily passed to the hand of a healthcare worker who touched the privacy curtain. Two studies were formulated from microbial outbreaks that were directly related to microorganisms on privacy curtains further proving the point that privacy curtains can be involved in the spread of infection. In the case of this outbreak and in other studies where many microbes on privacy curtains were discovered, the current cleaning methods for curtains were questioned. Statistics in one study were especially concerning as they showed a slight increase in the amount of microorganisms present on the privacy curtains after they were laundered versus before they were laundered. So what can be done? Several studies I looked at addressed ways to solve this problem, including different cleaning methods for curtains and different types of specialty curtains. Tests with using an ammonia or silver-based disinfectant to clean were promising, but the studies were not done on fabric surfaces and therefore are not very applicable. Tests using a hydrogen peroxide spray to specifically clean privacy curtains removed 98% of the pathogens on the curtains. However, most of the microorganisms left were spore-forming organisms therefore demonstrating a need for an additional cleaning agent that would eliminate. There were also several studies of specialized or disposable privacy curtains. CEC, or compound element curtains, showed promise in that they were able to kill off microorganisms long term, rather than a cleaning agent that would just kill microorganisms present on the privacy curtain surface at that time. Disposable biocidal curtains that were tested also showed promise against all microorganisms except for Clostridium difficile. Spirocidal privacy curtains were effective against all microorganisms, including C. difficile. They were also shown to be cost-effective in a cost analysis comparing their use to the use and laundering cost of standard privacy curtains. In conclusion, through my literature review, I not only discovered ways that curtains can contribute to the spread of infection, but I also discovered many ways to solve this problem. The number one thing would be to be aware of when you are touching privacy curtains. Make sure you are cleaning your hands in between touching the privacy curtain and coming into contact with the patient. Also, figure out how often privacy curtains are cleaned at your hospital and advocate for improvements in this if necessary, whether through new cleaning methods or specialty privacy curtains. In addition, nurses can get involved in more research to be done on this topic and thereby help to provide their patients with the best care possible. My hope is that this video will help to inform others, including nurses, about this issue and how we can solve it. Together, we can make the hospital a more sanitary environment for you.